How to reset an Acer computer back to factory default so you can resell it or reuse it. Whether or not you can log in or not, you just go control alt delete. So if you can't even log in, you just go there. Um, go to this in the bottom right corner, power, and click on it. And as you go to restart, hold down the left shift button and press restart. And I like to keep it hold down, held down for a while. Basically until it prompts you. So it will just go through a bit of a special reboot. And then it will present this screen. Um, that you go with the third option which is troubleshoot reset your PC down the bottom there. And you go reset this PC. Keep my files or remove everything. I go to remove everything. It just does its thing for a while. I'll just go through all the steps to make sure it's done properly so you know exactly what's going on. Basically these steps will allow the computer to reboot and just fully wipe the drive. So you can resell it or reuse it or give it away, etc. I go you can go cloud download, but I just prefer local reinstall. And nothing has changed yet. It's all reversible until you get the following confirmation, which you should see in a few moments. It'll basically ask you to confirm, and from there you can't really go back. Yeah, you can just remove the files. If you're keeping the computer, it's very handy. But I like to just fully clean the drive, keeps it nice and simple. And then that's done. I think that's when you get the final confirmation prompt. Basically, it will just cycle through doing its process for a while. And here you go. This is the confirmation. Uh, yeah, as it says, it can't be undone. Make sure it's plugged in because if it doesn't complete properly, it might cause some issues. And yes, it removes all the personal files and accounts on device, removes any change made to settings, removes all the apps and programs that didn't come with the PC and it reinstalls Windows from that device. So just go down and select Reset. And now that process will just commence. And it is quite lengthy a lot of the time. It can take a really long time. So go do something else and come back in a few hours and it should be reset and prompting you for the install, um, you know, the customization of the new system. That's it. Sometimes it's a bit faster. It's up to like 13% now, which is quite promising. Depending on the size of the system, this is a smaller system, so it should actually be reasonably fast. And that's it.